Fluffy. I can't wait to introduce you to Hollow. Ooh, gummy, and not smell pretty. Go away, you am ugly monster, Fluffy. Whoa. Samuel, if I come upstairs and see a mess, you're grounded. I get worse than her. Take that, <laughs> insolent vermin. choice for a creature your size? What will you choose? <laughs> no one makes choices. <laughs> <gasps> Fluffy had perfect choice. Fluffy wished for a bowl of skitties. No, no, no. Are you fucking serious? I was having it pretty rough. I was a Fluffy breeder set in the United States until my last prized mayor died of some has bio made disease. I had a lot of cash from her, but now that she was gone, I had no way of making money until I saw this young mare. Hello, night mister. Looks like a new mother. Those colors are so familiar. That's right. She's almost identical to the cutest Pegasus from the kids show. Even better, she had a litter of chirpy babies even a Pegasus and a Unicorn Baby. I seriously lucked out, and I have no idea how. After I took the mare home, I set up a safe room for her while she instantly began to feed her babies, even the smallest. Things were going well so far. She even taught them how to avoid making bad poopies. Maybe she had been a pet before, got lost or abandoned. Poor shit, Rat. I almost feel bad. Good poopies go in the weather box. Make good poopies. Then came the day I introduced Flutters to her new special friend. They took an instant liking to each other. It almost felt all too good to be true. Ooh, new special friend, Fluffy Mare, so pretty. Cobalt, the little blue violet colt, was incredibly protective of the babies, even though they weren't his offspring and brought Flutter's nummies while she was feeding so she wouldn't have to get up. <laughs> Not on that baby! No selfies! But then came the day I sold the babies to a fellow breeder for a large sum of 5,000 bucks. I'm sorry, girly. I had to sell the babies to keep you, Cobalt, and myself healthy. You can have more babies anytime you want, but after a while, We'll have to let them go, too. Okay. This baby though. Hey, Daddy. That was surprisingly easy. I may be a breeder, but I'm no abuser. Most of the time, I was honest about what happened. And Flutters took the news surprisingly well. And despite her tears, seemed almost understanding. Cobalt was a bit more unforgiving, however. Not even 24 hours later. Cobalt mounted flutters and tried to produce offspring. Good feel. Ha, ha, ha. Oh, baby. Ha, ha, ha. And a few weeks later, another beautiful litter was born. Heck, I was even growing attached to the little guys. And another. And a bunch more. It was a miracle. I was making a fortune and had understanding and calm fluffies. I even started to feed them skeddies whenever a purchase was made. Skeddies! the nummies. And then came this litter. Two small foals with astonishing colors. And a big fat one with... Decent colors at best. Even after a month, the fat foal wouldn't eat solids. And Flutters would still sing her baby songs to it. Mama, love baby. Baby. 
baby with mama. She praised it for dancing, when in reality it was either wiggling on the floor or having a seizure. It was hard to tell. It was quite hard to watch. That's a baby! Yay! Flutters would carry the foal to the litter box, even after it was two months old. It wouldn't sell like the others, so I figured what's the harm in letting her keep just one. Three weeks later, she had another litter. This time, she took a gargantuan shit on top of it too. <laughs> and instead of cleaning them up and feeding them, she tottered right back over to the fat green foal who she loved so much. I went to check on the other foals and I heaved when I saw the little yellow one with a pink tail. The same color as that cartoon Pegasus. The same colors as Flutter. I tried resuscitating the foal, but that only seemed to puncture it. That green shit stain had just cost me a fortune. I went over to Flutter's and showed her the foal with every intention of making her feel guilt so this wouldn't happen again. But what she said made my blood run cold. Really, Daddy? This an ugly monster, baby. Only love sensitive, baby. I've never abused a Fluffy, and I've never had the urge. But like they say, there's a first time for everything. Unfortunately, I had to make the ultimate decision to stop reading her. That meant separating Cobalt from his mate once again. It would also mean Flutter's milk would dry up. <laughs> I know, boy. To baby. I'm sorry. <laughs> I began praising Flutter's for taking care of the foal, giving them both pats and love. One day, I picked up the foal, holding it in my grasp. Daddy is going to check your sensitive baby up and check for teethies and signs his eyes opening, when in reality, I was smearing a tiny amount of rat poison on its tongue. After a while, Flutter's teats dried out and she stopped producing milk to feed her sensitive baby. <laughs> My milky bread no work. From the combination of malnutrition and poisoning, the sensitive baby began to deteriorate, starving itself from vomiting up the poison and the lack of milk produced by his mama. Eventually, the foal died. I'm still not sure if it died from the poison, starving, or heck, if it drowned in its own bodily fluids. But either way, the thing was gone. Flutters had learned her lesson. Almost. No! Look at Flutters, babies! This could have been prevented, you know. Huh? Gotta help! <laughs> you were a bad mother. You only get one more chance of parenthood. Monster or not, you will feed all of your babies and love them. If you don't, your favorite baby will always die because of you. And you'll always have yourself to blame. If that ever happens again, you'll never breed again.